Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something on QGIS today. We are going to look at a clip. Um, the clip tool is actually um, a tool that helps you to reduce or let's say to extract I use the word extract but it helps you to cut out from a whole like we have a particular data set here let's say we have a particular data here it's a road network within a locality actually it covers a very very large extent or very large expanse of the area now what the what we want to use the clip tool to do today is that we want to have our area of interest let's say if you have been able to extract we extracted this from um, osm um, we extracted it from osm right so let's say we want to work on this densely populated area and we don't need these other root networks because perhaps when we extracted it all of these other root networks let's say the redundant um, red um, network the redundant root networks appeared with it however we don't need we just want to eliminate them we want to cut them off so what do we do that's what we are going to show you on today's video so the first thing is that we have our guide we call it guide like um, aoc that's the area of um, concentration so by the time you zoom to that layer you will see that yes you can see that we are trying to work on the where we have um, the settlements right where the population is much so we want to cut off any of these network or all of these networks rather outside this our boundary right so that's what we are going to show you now so for you to be able to do that yours might have maybe a different application but yours might be a different data rather but um, the application is seemingly the same so you come to what you come to vector then you go to um geoprocessing tools right now under vector and then um, geoprocessing tools you come to clip then you select clip now under this um, clip window you are going to set a few parameters now what are the parameters you are going to set they say the input layer what the input layer simply means what is your base layer like um the the layer from which you want to cut and the layer from which you want to cut is the road right good then the next thing is the overlay layer that means the layer that will guide you the extent or will guide the extent to which it will be cut right so let's use what this our guide so for adventure that's the second that's the second layer on this our layer window or layer panel therefore it's automatically there so the guide will help us to do what the guide will help us to know the extent we want to cut then this is the clip so this is the overlay layer the next thing we are now going to do is that we just click on run it said them open output file after running out already yes if you uncheck it you will have to maybe check it back again for you to be able to see so i think it's best to just do this way so as simple as this um, we don't need logs we just need the parameters as simple as it sounds it will help you to do what to um, trim or streamline or reduce or let's say make your data to come to where you're working so let's see the run then good that's you can see the clip right good you can see the clip folder here the clip layer here rather so we can just want to close now upon closing this shows that it's a temporary layer and it has not been saved so you can decide to save it and show you how to save it when you put up these other layers you can now see that what your clip layer is out and the clip layer actually falls within what where your boundary is so you now see that okay let's say let's put this off and then put this on and good so you now see that what your your clip layer actually has the root networks within what your area of interest so with this you can decide to work or you can be able to work with this um, your clip layer maybe you just come and maybe you rename it or something you give it um, a special name because 
clip might not be what you need so you come to rename and then you give the special name then the next thing is that is actually a scratch as it's been said a scratch layer so you click on it you click on this icon to want to save it good save scratch layer it's actually a shape file then the file name Good. So we are on the folder we've created. We call the folder crop. Then we are giving the name um, text test underscore crop, right? And you can see it's what it's a um, shape file. So you do what you save. Good. Then I think you don't need any other settings again. The most important thing for you to convert that scratch layer to a save layer or to save that scratch layer let's use that for you to save that scratch layer it's just this so when you now click on ok that icon will just leave that your layer that indicates that that's what it has been saved so with this you have been able to do what reduce or let's say you have been able to clip or you have been able to crop the, the full data so that you can now work with your own area of interest the data on your own work area of interest um, i think for us to appreciate this better let's see if we can change the color of this so that when we put on the, the full layer you can be able to see how it goes let's see this good so now see the difference right so this is what we want to show to you now you can see the difference between the two the two layers so these are the extra layers that we are cut off or the sorry the extra data that we are cut off and then this is actually the, the layer you want to or the data you want to work with and the data you want to work with is on that one it's on that clip so you now see that okay you can easily work with what this data so as we said earlier your data might be different but the application is actually the same so thanks for coming to class if you are a new viewer please encourage us by subscribing to the channel and if you are a returning viewer thanks for always checking up on us we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time bye